What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to dive into another way of how to rig a certain bait. Now, this one right here is a bait that I've been throwing for a lot of years, finesse swim baiting, swim baiting in general. Um, I have a couple different things, like, you know, people ask me all the time, like, what do you rig? And like, how do you rig it perfectly? I'm sort of gonna go through sort of the process of how I rig a swim bait. Um, I have a couple different jig heads right here. This is like the hybrid swim bait jig head and like the Neon Moon Eye. But anyway, we're gonna dive into this right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now, when selecting the correct jig head, this is very important. Like I, I personally like finesse swim baiting. I swim baiting. I feel like this hybrid swim bait jig head is like the best in my personal opinion on the market, hands down. Um, now, on like I do use this neon moon eye for finesse swim baiting. You'll sort of see like it's 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 sort of it's pretty solid, but it's it's um it's a little bit lighter wire hook, and that's the reason like why I use it for like spinning rods and te I tend to use this technique more for spinning rod applications. Um, but then that screw lock deal like right here, sometimes getting like, it's sort of like a tough deal for people at times. So let's dive into it um, right now. Diving into it in the point of view look right here, we have a couple different things. We have uh, two swim baits. This is like a three inch Largo shad. And then you have the uh, this guy right here. He is, um, the four inch. Now I'm going to get out each. Okay. So right here we have the neon moon eye, the hybrid swim jig, swim, swim bait jig. And I'm going to pop these out real quick here so I can show you guys how to read this. This is sort of a, a simple deal, but at the same point in time, you sort of want to like, I mean, it can be a little tricky at times. Like, and, and this is definitely, so I have this little screw lock deal. You will sort of see him. He's like a, he can be difficult sometimes to, to rig. And I'll use this on the three inch because it fits that hook size like pretty well. Um, using this on the four inch is a little bit big, but I'm just gonna use it for demonstration purpose. I'll do on both. I'll grab this, the moon eye as well. This ha is a little bit easier to rig, but you're gonna be saving a lot more money on your swim baits with this screw lock. I'll show you why. So now I'm gonna do the easy one first. So here is, this guy right here, he's ready to roll. Um, I'm just going to, the big key when I'm rigging this swim bait is I want to see where is it going to pop out at. And if you could sort of see this bait has a little logo like storm right there. So it's just past the storm actually like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go down through here. I'm gonna try to rig it as straight as possible. This is something that sort of like, and the key is, is really once you start, you don't want to change your angle because that's how it gets wonky. Okay. Now I would probably, if I'm using this jig head right here, I'm going to use a little super glue on that shank of that hook to sort of help me keep that on. Okay. Now there you go. You can see it's pretty straight and that is really the key because when it's, it's wobbling down there and it's shaking and kicking, if, if it's not straight, it gets like, it's really weird on the way that retrieve, it'll sort of like hunch up or if you have like, like that, it'll hunch up or it'll end up messing the action of the swim bait and a lot of fish, believe it or not, you'll see them come up and look at this thing and they won't bite it. So I want it to be as straight and look as natural as possible. Uh, so I want this to be straight and I want this to look as natural as possible it is the biggest thing. And that's why I want it straight. Now, this is the thing. You're still going to go through quite a few swim baits with this. Even though it has this nice little keeper right there, I, I, it's not my favorite jig head for that. Now, I do use a, ne a VMC moon, Neon Moon Eye jig head for deeper water, like a 3 8 ounce head or something like that because I can, I can, it has a small hook in it. So that small hook right there, I can throw it finesse swim baiting. Now, this guy right here is the quarter. It has I like that natural head. So like when, if I'm fishing like uh, more so clear water the fish is sort of like like a dull like just a lead head you know which is nice now the key with this is same thing now this is going to be a little bit more precise because you're going to have to figure out okay same thing if i look at this sort of look at that i'm going past i'm going to go past about where the body starts to climb back up is basically where i have to go it's against the bait it's like right there in the bottom of the belly right where it starts to climb back up so 
I'm gonna go down through here, same thing. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna point it up like this. I'm gonna show you like that. I'm gonna point him up to where I can see him. I'm gonna thread him on going to about right there. Okay. Now, so if you see these little screw lock heads, this is how you're going to have to do this. So as I, I'm actually gonna have to rotate the soft plastic around the hook. So I'm gonna push it on there, rotate, Two. I'm actually pushing it on too at the same time, so making sure that I'm getting it in, because a lot of times you'll get it into like the actual top of the plastic, which is not a big deal, but I like to do this. So rotate it around again. And then I'll sort of like tweak him a little bit. And there you go. Now, if for some reason you go too far in, he's it's messed up like that all you do have to do sometimes is just pull and rip him like what I mean by that is you're going to have to rip you're ripping the plastic down in here and, but it's not going to hurt the overall action of the swim bait and, and the cool thing about this and, I'll, and I get if I might even re-rig him again if I really fickle about it because I want to make sure it, it swims correctly so I'll really get him centered and play with him but the cool thing and I'll even pre-rig some of these sometimes the cool thing about this guy is ultimately I can catch like 15 bass a lot of times on this setup right here. Because like, look, I pull on him. I don't need any super glue. I pull on him. He's not coming off. Like, I mean, it literally has to rip the whole head of the swim bait to do that. So that it, it is a little bit more frustrating. Do not get me wrong. Does it take more time? Yes. But I'll take this all day long. If I'm trying to save money on my ultimately my whole setup and not use more baits, this guy right here is going to save you a lot more money. And if you're catching a lot of bass or a lot of fish in general, it's the way to go. So that is it. Finesse swim baiting. It can be a lot of fun. I've caught a lot of fish in the wintertime. Caught a lot of fish in the summertime on this technique. It's a technique that you definitely need to learn if you do not know it. Pick one up. Pick up a swim bait. Two, two inches, two and a half to three and a half inches is what I prefer. When I'm finesse, what I would term finesse swim baiting. Um... And, and go to town. There's a lot. It's a really good clear water technique and something that definitely works. But um, I just sort of wanted to go through how to rig it because this is something that, I, I mean, I, it, it's it's a lot of it is uh, stuff that maybe some people forget. And I wanted to dive into that a little bit today. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button up there, that thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed the content and if you have a recommendation that you want to see on the channel, comment below let me know what we need to pop up or have an idea that you want me to do that i'm going to make sure to do that um, at least review it and check it out so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see y'all next time